All right, guys, Jared DeAndre here. We are at Vivid Racing in Gilbert, Arizona. We're about to install the Exidy Stage 1 clutch as well as the light and flywheel. Read the instructions. Even though you're watching this video, you need to read the instructions. There are do's and don'ts. Obviously, don't forget your sticker, but we have our light and flywheel here, and then we have our Exidy Stage 1 clutch. Throw out bearing, pilot bearing, the lube, the tool. Pay attention to the instructions. Watch this video. Do the, dual dil the due diligence. It's a DIY video, and you guys want to do it yourself, but uh, let's get on with it with Nick, our certified Subaru technician here at Vivid Racing, installing the beautiful Exidy Stage 1 clutch and light and flywheel, your Exidy clutch performance. Let's do this. When handling any of the parts, make sure your hands are free of any grease and or material, which could therefore be transferred over to the flywheel and our clutch components. Before installing the flywheel, go ahead and take some brake cleaner and apply it to it using a clean cloth to remove any grease or oil that could transfer onto the clutch surface. Don't forget to clean the surface of the pressure plate as well. Installing the dowel pins into the flywheel, you're going to want to begin by lightly tapping in and then finishing the job with a hydraulic press. The dowel pin is properly installed when 50% of the dowel pin is inside of the flywheel. To ensure no damage to the pilot bearing and flywheel, to install the pilot bearing, use a hydraulic press and make sure that the metal rests against the outer race of the pilot bearing to cause no damage to the seal of the pilot bearing. The pilot bearing is properly installed when the outer race is flush with the flywheel. Always ensure the bell housing is degreased and is free of any dust and fibers from the worn clutch that was there previously. But next, you're going to clean the gearbox main drive shaft splines, then check that the clutch disc slides freely onto the shaft. Ensuring that there's no damage to the clutch splines, slide the clutch disc back and forth to ensure there's no damage. Always ensure bell housing is degreased and is free of any dust and or fibers from the removed clutch. Be sure to lubricate the clutch splines because dry splines will cause failure to disengage gears and also cause clutch drag. Never over lubricate or grease the spline of your clutch disc as grease will splatter during rotation of the engine and clutch. Contamination such as grease or oil on the clutch disc friction material will cause the clutch to slip. Clean the main shaft where the throw out bearing rides to make sure there's no cracks and also to make sure it's clean of any debris. Once clean, apply a little bit of lube just so the throw up bearing slides smoothly. Once you've checked the clutch fork and the drive shaft for any cracks and or debris, you're gonna install your throw up bearing. Installing the clutch fork into the throw up bearing, then the lightly lube main shaft through the clutch fork, and you'll check to make sure that all parts move freely. Go and give it a pre-test run with the flywheel in place, making sure that it's level, nice and clean. Remember, red Loctite is your friend. Just apply a small amount of lube to the pilot bearing. 55 foot-pounds to torque down the flywheel. Tighten bolts in a diagonal pattern on the flywheel and never use air tools to install a clutch cover assembly. After torquing all the nuts on the flywheel, shake to ensure that there's no play in the flywheel whatsoever. Give it another wash down, ensuring that there's no grease or oil or debris on the surface of the flywheel. Using your provided clutch alignment tool, place in the middle of the clutch disc and mount to the flywheel. Place the clutch cover pressure plate assembly over the clutch disc after checking that the disc is the right way around and the hub section of the disc does not fall on the casting of the clutch cover assembly or the flywheel. Aligning the dowels on the clutch pressure plate to the flywheel ensures that you have a properly aligned clutch to pressure plate. A suitable clutch alignment tool as provided will ensure correct alignment, assist in ease of insulation, and avoid spline damage. Remember, red Loctite is your friend. Torque the pressure plate at 12 foot-pounds of pressure. Once the clutch assembly is aligned, torque down the pressure plate with 12 foot-pounds of pressure, ensuring not to use any air tools. 
Don't forget to remove the clutch alignment tool. Now it's time to refit the gearbox, taking care not to bend the clutch disc. And remember, never hang the gearbox off the clutch disc or use any force to align the gearbox shaft. Once you see threads on the bell housing dowels, you know you're in the correct position. Begin tightening the bolts. Make sure there's no dirt or foreign material between the mating surfaces of the engine and the bell housing. Now that the transmission is installed, go ahead and shove the clutch fork towards the rear of the vehicle, ensuring that the throwout bearing is properly put within the pressure plate. Alright, so the clutch has been installed and uh, only thing left to do is basically hit the road. So, got the keys. This isn't even my car. We actually borrowed this car, so we have a lucky customer of this clutch. Remember, 750 miles. I know it's hard to do, but just do it. And uh, clutch feel, the pedal feel should be about the same. I mean, it is a light and flywheel, so it's going to be higher revving, but uh, clutch feel should be the same. So, exit racing clutches, man. Check them out. Well, obviously it's going to perform great. You know, the stage one clutch, you can take it to the street and to the track. You have the light and flywheel, which is a higher revving, and then uh, the clutter, the, the actual pedal feel actually feels really good. A little bit better than stock, but it's not like you're forcing it down. So you be the judge of it. Check out ExitUSA.com for more information. And, uh, you know, basically, this isn't my car, but I feel like just taking it out because it feels so great. And also, you know, this can go up to a lot of horsepower. So throw more horsepower at you have a great clutch for the street and the track. Again, ExitUSA.com. See you guys later.